There's a certain feeling in the air and whisper of the wind that tells us that fall is among us. Other than the changing of the leaves, there's one thing that really defines the season. Halloween. Since we adore Halloween, what better way to celebrate its soon arrival than a horror game list related to the recent release of Bad Candy, a Halloween horror anthology featuring Slipknot's Corey Taylor and Gremlin Zach Galligan. I'm Scruncho with Jet XP, and in this video- Halloween is just around the corner and- Wait, is someone here? I thought I heard someone doing an intro. Must be my imagination. I'm Jan Solstrom from Dread XP, and this is your Ultra Indie Weekly Round- Um, excuse me. I was doing this video. This is literally my video series. You do the Ultra Indie Weekly Roundup? That's my series. Who even are you? Yods, we literally work together. It's me. Scruncho? <sighs> Abby? Oh, Abby, Scruncho, the same person. Weird. Get out of my video. Uh, anyway, in this video, we'll be creeping through 10 indie horror games that would pair well with bad candy. For this list, we'll be focusing on titles that would be fun to play around Halloween and- Well, Scruncho's doing Halloween-inspired games, and while that's fun and all, I want to go a bit darker. I'll be covering slasher-themed games. Yes, well, I guess he's here to stay. We'll try to keep his part short. As a reminder, this list is in no particular order, so if you see a title at a number you don't agree with, no need to treat it like bad candy. Number 10, Sinister Halloween. What better game to play near Halloween for some horror action than a title that involves going out with friends, trick-or-treating, haunted houses, and parties? With more variety than a mixed bag of candy, you can play through 9 maps of story and 8 survival ones to survive the terror, where one has to question if the props are real or just a part of a haunted attraction. Although this title provides a handful of comical and crowded moments, one can appreciate how the gameplay actually makes you feel like you're out on Halloween night doing all the spooky community favorites. Now, if the gameplay behind a monitor just isn't satisfying your in-person haunted house or trick-or-treating cravings, you can play Sinister Halloween in VR. A simple solution of feeling guilty about being an adult and still ringing doorbells for candy. At number 9 we have Slasher. Speedrunning mixes with 80s slashing in this game that's not here for a long time, but a good time. You'll play as an unnamed killer roaming a randomly generated set of doors and hallways as you hunt down hapless teens who had the bad sense to be in your way. The game can be beaten in less than a minute, if you're quick. It definitely appeals to me in the sense that I could never be a serious speedrunner, but in Slasher, with each playthrough being so short, I could be topping the leaderboards in no time. It's an experience for the Slasher fans out there, and you can check it out on itch.io now. Number 8, The Paper Man As a child, going out and looking for candy without adult supervision is the highlight of Halloween. In this game, it's Halloween in 1978, where you play as a 10-year-old girl named Sam. Out to gather some sugary goodness and do homework, it's revealed that there's a rumor of a strange man that has paper bones and lives in a cabin within a neighboring forest. While you have a list of objectives for the night, there does seem to be one that is most important. Record footage, explore the neighborhood, go for a little boat ride, and listen to some tapes. Regardless, this is a Halloween that a 10-year-old will not forget. And what better way to not forget than to experience it in VR, if you choose to. I do have to wonder though, if the paper man has paper bones, wouldn't fire be your best friend? Then again, fire might be too dangerous for a little girl. Even though she's out, wandering alone with a camera. Hmm. At number 7 we have Halloween Slasher. Have you ever played a game and thought, wow, I'm really bad at this? That's the experience I get from Halloween Slasher. You'll play as an adorable little hockey mask slasher as you run through challenging levels, hitting checkpoints, and collecting coins. It feels like Super Meat Boy mixed with Friday the 13th, and I love it. Even though at 20 plus deaths, I haven't seen too far past the first area. 
On the upside, it's also available on mobile, so I can be bad at games on the go. You can pick up Halloween Slasher on itch.io. Number 6, Apparition. While many of us prefer going after costume ghosts and demons near Halloween rather than real ones, some enjoy looking for the real thing. In this title, hunting the paranormal and capturing their existence is on the agenda. Taking place in the haunted forest of Green Creek, use the spirit board to interact with the ghosts and demons, but be ready to whip out your camera and audio recording equipment because these apparitions are aggressive. While cameras are great for collecting evidence, they're not so great for defending yourself. Hiding is essential if you don't want to end up as another victim of Green Creek. Although the game is still in early access, you can at least be comforted to know that you can do all your ghost hunting in virtual spaces rather than real ones near Halloween. Number 5 is Clean Suit. When you think scary, you probably don't think text adventure. Clean Suit is looking to change all of that by making you try to escape a killer using a text prompt and a dream. You'll be chilling at home when you hear a knock on the door. That's your cue to jump into action and figure out how to get out of this situation. You'll have full access to your home, the backyard, and the shed in the backyard to find a way to stop the killer before you get got. The game is very open-ended, with multiple ways to win and maybe a few ways to lose. The logic in the game is complete nonsense, and that just makes me love it even more. You can pick up Clean Suit on itch.io or Steam. Number 4. Darkness Under My Bed Well, if the previous experience did not already feel too close to home, what is more personal than monsters living under your bed? In this game, you play as a child that has built a labyrinth to keep the monsters trapped. This confusing maze proves to do little, as the creatures take toys, treasures, and memories from the child. Deciding to live in fear no longer, you, the player, are equipped with a remote control robot that gives a first look at the conditions and items that are down there. Look for secrets, memories, and objects through the creepy cardboard corridors. While there is an overall collection of objectives to achieve, it's up to you what order and direction you take the robot where curiosity can take you as far as you wish to go. Just in case you were wondering though, junk is not the only thing you'll find. Game number three is the Red Door. What would you do if you found yourself trapped in a killer's house? The Red Door asks that question and then expects you to act on your answer. You'll be trying to figure out puzzles while avoiding a seemingly supernatural killer throughout the darkened house. On top of everything, there are some very strange things happening with the spaces inside the house. Closets can open into entirely different parts of the house, and occasionally you'll fall through the floor into a whole new area. Keep your wits about you, and you might just survive long enough to escape. You can pick up the red door on itch.io. Number 2, Halloween. When we're thinking of spooky things to watch close to or on Halloween, a no-brainer choice would be the Halloween series featuring a horror favorite, Michael Myers. While it's fun to kick back with some snacks in the dark watching the classics, you can take it a step up in this virtual game based on a personal favorite of mine, the 1981 Halloween 2 film. Run from Michael Myers in a dark hospital, full of corners for him to come out and get you at any time. Loosely following the pieces of the original movie, there is a switch of perspectives and an interesting twist that most horror fans will likely appreciate. Not only is this a fun little fan-made game to get you into the Halloween spirit, but you as the player get an entirely different horror experience, being in control of the character which doesn't happen in movies. Horror is different when you are not on the outside looking in. Game number one is Enchain. In an effort to be more in line with whatever Scruncho's doing, we have Enchain, a madcap, super fast first person shooter starring a plucky skeleton with a song in his heart and an absolutely devastating chain and pistol combo. Get the best of both worlds with the cutesy skeleton and the fountains of blood he creates from enemies. Run, slide, jump, and swing through levels, dealing out punishment as you go. 
Currently just a demo, but the developer is working on a full version, so if you can't get enough of this game, don't worry, there's more coming. Check it out on itch.io. Halloween is meant to be fun and spooky. With this collection of games, I think it's safe to admit that there are worse things than actual bad candy. And Jan's taking over your video, of course. There's always the prospect of getting an apple, a toothbrush, or Abby invading your videos. <sighs> right, okay. Anyway, be sure to check out Bad Candy. Currently available on VOD and- I'll make this simple. There are links in the description that will take you to Bad Candy, possibly even my videos. Anyway, what did you think of our list? Certainly let us know in the comments below or tweet away at JetXP on Twitter. Thanks for watching and stay positively spooky. I refuse to let Scruncho take my outro. I'll be seeing you around.